What's up guys, it's Fozzy13 here, and today I'm going to show you how to get um, something like Swipe on your iPhone or iPod Touch. And it's not like Swipe because it doesn't replace the stock iPhone keyboard, um, but it is like Swipe where it has the same keyboard and it gives you a little uh, notepad kind of thing where you can send SMX or uh, SMS and email from it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and look that up. Um, the only way you can find it is, is in install us because that has been removed from the App Store. Um, so it's basically called Shape Writer, and it is all one word. Go ahead and search that up. It comes up as Shape Writer Pro, and then let that load up. Uh, my Wi-Fi is kind of weak here. Um, go ahead and go into download and. It looks like the 3.50 or 2.10 versions, and then download those. After that, you should get an app called ShapeWriter. Go ahead and launch it right here. Uh, so yeah, it's going to start you off in a new note. Um, go ahead and go back, and this is basically the manual on how to use it. Um, it does have cut, copy, and paste, text selection, um, dictionary that adapts to how you type, it'll learn as it goes. Um, as I said before, email, SMS, texting, um, new words, it tells you how to add new words, we'll do double letters, capitalization, and other things. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Uh, as you can see, the keyboard does look similar to swipe, and let's go with the quick brown. Fox jumped over the lazy sheep dog. And it's been giving me lazy instead of lazy so, um, a lot of times. Um, but it should learn. And that's basically the only mistake that it's been making so far. And for swipe, I actually like it best in portrait mode because I actually don't like the uh, portrait mode stock iPhone keyboard and in this app you can actually just type it like you normally would if you had it like this so uh, the quick brown fox and as you can see I've actually already made a lot more mistakes than I have with swipe because there's no autocorrect actually on here um, but I actually tend to make a lot of mistakes using the portrait keyboard because it actually is pretty small. And I think swipe actually makes the letters a little bit bigger, but there is no autocorrect, um, which is a little downside. If you, um, for some reason, want to open up the swipe app and type in portrait mode. Um, but swipe is pretty good in uh, portrait mode. It picks up your uh, words pretty well. Let's go ahead and make a new line here. And I'll go ahead and turn it over to landscape and we can see how that works um, so the only you can use one finger B quick brown fox jumped over lazy sheep dog alright so uh, no spelling mistakes here because um, from lazy, I went and looked over to the Z better, instead of over to the D. Um, but it actually picks it up pretty well, and uh, let's think of a long word right now that we can type out. Uh, let's try Logitech and see how that works. And it came up as Lighten, but it does have Logitech in the autocorrect right there. Um, the reason I use Logitech is because I'm using a Logitech keyboard or webcam. Uh, let's think of another long word that we can use. Uh, let's try typing out gigantic. And it came out as gigantic. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, especially because you go from the G to the G and basically all over the damn place. Uh, so that's pretty good how I picked that up. Uh, let's do glucose. And see how that go. it came up as a giggle, but it does have glucose right there. Uh, so this app is supposed to learn how you type and get better, um, depending on how you correct it after you type it. 
Um, but so far, this has been a lot easier than going out and typing things out like uh, you would normally like this. Um, it is a bit faster, I actually think, than typing it like that, and a lot easier to make it go faster. And especially in portrait mode, it is a ton easier to type. Um, so, this is a good app, but the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't replace, it doesn't have an, you can't replace the stock um, iPhone iOS keyboard on everything. Uh, you have to go into this separate application to activate it, and it only works for regular SMS, texting, and uh, email. But you can copy and paste, which is kind of slow if you have an older device that can't multitask as quickly. Um, but to type in some notes or things on the go, um, you have one handout like this, you gotta do it really fast. Um, Swipe is definitely an app that is good enough, and since the only way it is on the Stylus or the iOS device, um, I do recommend using it. Um, so it's a great app. Too bad it's not on the App Store anymore. Uh, Apple probably removed it to stick it to Android somehow or something. I have no idea. They, they should put it on here because, um, uh, as you all, everyone knows, the iPhone screen is a lot smaller than other devices like the HTC Evo and Android X, which you can type pretty well on. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Why is 13 signing off?